Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Now, we've got a post bag, a huge one. So this will most likely contain some combined items. So let's open it up. Yeah, there they are. So, I'm going to check if I can do this like, yeah. I think that this should work. There you go. So now I'll proceed and mark my address and I'll be right back with you. So we're going to open this one first. It's quite a quite a big package. So let's see what's inside of here. There's a box inside of here. 15 yellow. Okay. Well, obviously it's going to be yellow, otherwise they don't write, they won't write this down on the uh, on the box. Straight into my plastic bin. Now the packaging is a little bit damaged. So I'm hoping that the item itself is not damaged. So let's open the box and see what's inside. Oh, it's this little screwdriver set. Now, for those who have followed my channel for quite a while, yes, I do have another one of these. It's right here, actually. But I damaged the screwdriver whilst opening a bottle of wine. Yes, I used this as a wine bottle opener. Now, the shaft is jammed in the screwdriver itself and the top fell off. So that didn't work. Now I've also dropped this uh, one time rather hard and that completely destroyed the packaging. So I needed a new one. So I thought well I'm going to buy the same one and let's proceed with this one. Now it's quite flat so I'm curious to see what's inside of this thing. Uh, Oh, these are thermal pads. These are thermal pads. You might ask yourself, why have I ordered thermal pads? Well, that's because of one of the next packages. I've still got to open. I think I'm going to open this one first. Yeah. So let's open this one. And then open the rest of the packages. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's decently packed, actually. I'm surprised that it even comes with a box. This is the digital caliper that I ordered. With a screwdriver, wow! Did they include a screwdriver for removing the... Whoa! <laughs> this is heavy. Whoa, this is really, really, really heavy. A lot heavier than I thought it would be. You can use this to roll. Oh. But they included a screwdriver so I can remove the... I assume it's the battery compartment. to the side let's yeah that's the battery compartment i'm quite impressed by the quality of this thing one silver oxide battery for one year of continuous use low battery warning by flashing display okay so if the display starts flashing then we need to replace the battery every five seconds five digits jump continuously solution battery voltage under 1.45 volts remove cover and replace battery but with what battery? It says it has tooth certification. Which is really cool for such a China thing. Now on to the next few ones. Let's slice the tape open. Oh, obviously I need to do it over here as well. And 
and let's see what's inside of this thing. Well, they did use a lot of bubble wrap within this episode of Pose Back, so everything is protected properly. Which is good, because I've seen it differently sometimes. So this is a heat sink of some sort. That's loud. Excuse me. Yeah, a heat sink. Does this look familiar to you? Why is it right here? For the those who are watching my channel for quite a bit longer than previously, you might already know what this is. This is a cop LED LED and it's the wrong one. I was expecting it to be the same as the one that I'm currently using, but it's not. By far it's not. It does fit the heatsink, but it's most definitely not the same one. So that's a, a bit of a disappointment. Now I need to print another housing. Ooh. So I just checked on Aliexpress and this is the wrong one. I did order the ones that I previously had, but the seller just sent the wrong couplet. So, and this one that I currently have is also quite a bit better at being dimmed. So yeah, this one is not going to uh, be used in any of my new LEDs. Now I do want to get back on this digital clamp because I've got a little bag that presumably has the right batteries inside of the thing. And let's see, we need LR44. And then we can take an LR44 and put it inside of this thing. I guess that it's with the face facing downwards, but I'm not sure. Yeah! Oh, really clever. So this is metal. Because they're using the metal housing as a uh, positive electrode. Or positive contact for the battery terminal like that all right cool so zero it out really nice it measures it's it measures accuracy really well which is excellent exactly what I need to be honest I do think that this is kind of sharp so I do think that if you grab it at the wrong angle that either these sharp points or the uh, device itself will, could cut you now thanks guys for watching this video I hope that despite the fact that this is not the cop light that I was promised you still find the video uh, useful if you did please let me know down below you can also find the links to the Aliexpress items that I purchased for this video down below so make sure to check those out and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh hey hello, uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well if you want you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.